Why do eggs not make it all the way to embryos? I'm Dr. Natalie Crawford, a fertility doctor, and this question is really heartbreaking. I had eight fertilized eggs, but none made it to blastocyst. So to understand this, an embryo is fertilized, and that is considered day one. And then it has to grow through a multi-cell stage to get to the stage called a blastocyst, where it's about 300 cells plus. At the blastocyst stage, it is... I describe it like a soccer ball where all the cells that you see on the outside are the placenta called the trophoderm. And on the inside, you have a tiny little ball of cells which becomes the embryo, the little fetal cell mass. Now, there's so much that has to happen. And I usually tell my patients, we expect about a 50% drop from fertilization to blastocyst. So if we had eight fertilized, I would expect four to make it to blast, not zero. Well, what happens? Typically, this is gonna fall somewhere on the spectrum of egg or sperm quality or abnormal genetics or abnormal kind of division of the embryo. If we see a lot of drop at day three or after that, so they make it to the eight cell stage and then they stop, that can be a sign of a male contribution because that's when the male genome kicks in. Actually, fertilization is often controlled by the egg, especially if you're doing ICSI where you're putting one sperm inside one egg. But there is hard to detect egg and sperm quality. That's a really difficult thing. Certainly look at your protocol, look at your lifestyle, and talk to your doctor. Hugs.